What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing. Uh, today's video, oh, I just showed you by accident, whatever. Uh, we got another 13 Fishing Concept Z. Uh, I talked to Corinne at 13. She was very nice, very helpful. And uh, they figured out what was wrong with the original one. Uh, they had a small batch of them go out that had something wrong in the reel handle with it. And that's what was causing all my issues. Um, so it was a very small batch. Of course, I got one of them, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. So um, they were very nice. Sent me a brand new 13 Fishing Concept Z Gen 2, the SLD. So we're gonna re-review it right now. So let's go guys. chest piece as usual if this is your first time watching one of my uh reel review videos on fishing reels uh do me a favor hit that subscribe button down there in the bottom right hand corner subscribe to the page i'm gonna post a bunch of new reel review videos whenever new reels come out and all that jazz <clears throat> but uh usually we do this with uh it's always the same rod this is a seven foot three medium heavy old 18 hollow point rod same rod every time um 17 pound test fluorocarbon by suffix usually we put a half ounce texas rig on this but uh i broke off my spinnerbait reel i broke off a bunch of line on it so i ran out of line so i figured we'll just put a half ounce spinnerbait on it and go to it because we're still practicing out here for the uh big bass tour on douglas lake so we're going to throw a half ounce spinnerbait with this and uh, like i said this is the brand new 13 fishing concept z gen 2 with a slide feature um this is the brand new one they just sent me so uh we're gonna give it a whirl and here is the first cast much better uh still a little noisy but i think that's just the concept z bearings because my uh, my other concept z is kind of noisy too um you know, I, it, I, it's still mechanical, you know, but it's definitely not as bad as that last one was. Uh, we're going to loosen this up a little bit, see what else we can get out of it. As, I mean, you can still hear it, um, but, you know, at least it, it is casting, it is throwing, um, you know, that last one wasn't doing a whole lot of anything for me. We're on one magnet right now. I'm probably going to leave it on one magnet because I, I really don't feel like I have a terrible backlash. There we go. I just loosened it up a little bit. So, you know, I mean the original video you know the biggest problem was i couldn't get it to throw i couldn't get it to really do much of anything um i mean it would it, just, it was very mechanical it just did not feel good um so this is the brand new one um it's you know it's still mechanical um i'm not really sure you know what makes it that way um but it's not like you know ultra smooth like the concept z uh concept c and the concept a you know the the concept a and concept c are just ridiculously smooth um and even the original concept z was ridiculously smooth i think you know this just might be something to do with the uh might have something to do with the the slide feature or something like that um but you know it's still still a really nice reel i backlashed that one a little bit but um, you know, I you know, I like the reel. It's it looks good. Um, I like the gray and orange, even though I'm not a UT fan. But uh, the gray and orange looks pretty good. Um, you know, it's it's still a nice reel. It looks nice. Um, I think I would probably like this a lot more for uh, flipping and pitching versus actually casting a spinnerbait. Um, but like I said, we we ran out of line on my on my Daiwa that I throw spinner baits on. So I uh, just kind of had to do what I had to do to get this going. And one thing I do notice, which is we very, very weird. Um, the harder I reel it, like the, the more I burn it, 
the less resistance there is and the less uh, geariness I feel. And I don't know why that is. That's very weird to me. Um, but the, the harder I burn it, I mean, I'll, I'll do it real quick. I didn't see that tree sitting right there and I about hit it. We'll, we'll do it real quick. All right. So as I'm reeling it in, there's a little bit of resistance, but then as I burn it, I mean, it's super smooth, absolutely super smooth. So I'm not real sure what that's about, but uh, either way, actually, I think I might've just worked out whatever that problem was. Yeah, because it's nowhere near as bad now. Anyway. Still a nice reel. Um, the winds are picking up out here, so I do apologize if there's a little bit of wind noise. I'll try and get it out in post-editing as much as I can. But uh, like I said, guys, you know we're out here uh, practicing for the uh, Big Bass Tour. Uh, they're coming to Douglas Lake next weekend, so uh, you got. I'm actually going to post this video tomorrow. Well, you guys are seeing it today, obviously, but I filmed it yesterday. If you're watching it today, I filmed it yesterday, um, practicing out here for the Big Bass Tour. So uh, I am being kind of cautious as to what I post until the until the tournament is over, because the last time I did this for an FLW tournament, um, everybody and their brother was watching the video, and I didn't I didn't think about it. Didn't think it'd be an issue. But, you know, uh, second thoughts, you know, coming back and getting the new one now, um, you know, it, it, it's still, it's a 13, you know, and a lot of people hate on 13. Um, I, I personally really like 13 reels. Um, I'm not a fan of the rods, but I love the reels. The only problem that I have with any of the reels is when I go to hook set, the way this point comes down right here, it, it starts to numb my hand a little bit every now and then. But that's because I set the hook like a behemoth. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm a big dude. I like to put a lot behind it. But um, that's really the only complaint I have of any 13 reel. And this one, now that I'm working it out and working it out a little bit more, it might have just been because it came out of the box. It just needed to be worked in a little bit. Um, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's a it's a good little reel. And, you know, the, the great thing about these reels, this 13A, the 13C, or the Concept A, Concept C, and the Concept Z, all of them have got ridiculous amounts. Oh, that was my fault. Um, <laughs> have ridiculous amounts of drag. And that's what I love about 13 is that this reel has 22 pounds of drag. And, you know, I run 17 pound test fluorocarbon and I absolutely love being able to just kind of torque it down and lean on these fish. Um, it's, you know, not something I get to do very often with some of my reels, some of my, you know, more finesse style reels. I'm always kind of cautious about setting up on them and then lowering the drag a little bit just to ensure there's a fish right there just to ensure that I don't, uh, you know, cause any issues with it. Wow, he wanted nothing to do with that bait. Huh. That was probably a good two, three pound bass. But uh, anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video guys we, you know we weren't gonna do a super long video on this because we already did one the original uh unboxing or original review all that jazz and i you know I, I told you guys right in that video that i felt like a lot of the problems was uh it, it wasn't a problem with the actual overall design of the reel it was just that one single reel i felt like was having some issues um which 13, uh, Corinne at 13 did confirm for me that, you know, there was a very few select reels that went out that were not completely the, uh, I think it was the carbon in the reel handles or something wasn't completely correct and it messed with the, uh, the gears and the handle. So that's, that's what the issue was, but, um, they, they took care of it. They, they got me taken care of, sent me a brand new one. And I greatly appreciate that. So I told 13 that I would, uh, make a new video and, uh, redo the review uh you know i'm not going to take the old one down because it was a you know oh, a good hitting video obviously and uh you know there there are still some things in there that i made good points on because they you know it is a good uh flipping reel and i even said that in the original video but this will be the new updated video 
Um, and I, I still stand by that. It would be a, a great flipping and pitching reel. Um, you know, I got the seven three seven three. Is that what it is? Shoot, I can't remember. Where do they put that on here? Anyway, it's the higher it's the higher gear ratio. Um, the faster gear ratio is what I go with. But uh, so anyway, flipping pitching great for that. It's not bad for a spinner bait either. It's just it's a higher gear ratio, so you have to work a little bit harder. But uh, guys, if you enjoy these videos, please, please, please do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment down in the comment section below. I would greatly appreciate it. Take care, y'all. I'll see y'all on the water.